In this video, we're going to continue assembling our train by adding in the wheels and the linkage arms and pegs uh, to our train. So I'm going to scroll down here, click and drag a wheel to bring it into our assembly. And then I'll go ahead and use these arrows to slide it roughly into position. And I'm going to put this wheel right where this hole is. I'm also going to flip this wheel around so we can see the back. And then I'll click OK. And flipping it around like that's going to make applying that joint a little bit easier so we don't have to rotate our view around. So go to the Joint tool. And then I will click on, zoom in here, I'll click on this part of the hole for the wheel. And then this part of the hole for the body. You notice that this needs to be flipped. So I'll go ahead and flip that. And then we want to check to make sure the motion is correct. So mine selected a revolute, which is what this needs to be so that it can spin. You can click the animate button just to make sure that that's working correctly, but just make sure you can see your wheel spinning. You'll notice it's spinning backwards right now, but don't worry about that. Click stop and then click OK. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and repeat that for the three other wheels. Okay, once all your wheels are connected, we are gonna go ahead and add in our axle pegs next. So I'm gonna go up here to the axle peg, and then I will bring that in. And again, I'm gonna do this in the same exact order. So I'm gonna do it in the front right wheel here. And then I'm gonna again flip this around just to make it a little bit easier to apply the joint. And then I'll go to joint, and then for the uh, peg, I'm going to go ahead and click on this part of it here. And then I'm actually going to click on the hole in the body of the train, not the one on the wheel. So I'm going to let me angle it a little bit more, but I'm going to click on the outer part of the threaded hole that is in the body of the train. Okay, and you'll notice when I do that, it needs to be flipped. And then one thing you'll notice is see how the screw head is actually inside the wheel right now. So I'm going to have to click on this to offset it to move it so it's outside, just outside the wheel. And that needs to be offset negative 0.25. So just click it and drag it or type in negative 0.025 and then click OK. Or actually, let's, let's check the motion real quick. Make sure that this says rigid. So that should be a rigid constraint this time, not a revolute. So click OK. And again, just make sure that that can't move and that your wheel should still move. OK, so we'll go ahead and add the other ones as well.
Okay, so that's all of the axle pegs. Uh, we'll go ahead and add the linkage arm part next. So I'll click and drag that part in. And again, I'm gonna do this side here first, and then I'll rotate that 90 degrees, and then click OK. All right, so these two holes basically are just gonna go here on the ends of these two pieces of the wheel. So I'll just click Joint, and then I'm just gonna click on, I'll just click on this one here. And I'll click on the base of the cylinder for this part here. And that needs flipped. And then make sure under motion, this should not be rigid. This should be a revolute constraint so that that can spin like that. And then click OK. And one thing you'll notice is that this one is connected to this wheel. But you'll notice we haven't added a constraint here. It is not connected to this wheel yet. So we need to add another joint for this side. So I'm going to click Joint. And then I'll click on the linkage arm next. We need to rotate our view around to get the back. So I'm going to click that, and rotate it back, and then we'll click on this part right here. OK, and that should work. So we'll click OK. And you'll notice it should be connected to both now, so that when we move this arm, both wheels should now turn. OK, so let's go ahead and get that for the other side as well. Bring in another linkage arm. Okay, the last part that we'll add is our linkage pegs. Again, I'm just gonna kind of rotate that back so that we can kind of see the under the bottom of this. Okay, so they click joint, and then again, I'm gonna click on that part of the cylinder and that part of the hole. And then this does not need to be a, a revolute constraint. This just needs to be a, a rigid constraint. So we'll just click okay. Okay, and then I will go ahead and add the rest of these. Okay, and that is how you get your constraints and your joints and how to assemble uh, the rest of your miniature train.